Okay, the rear brake pads for the 2004 Nissan Murano. 14 mm bolts, one at top, one at bottom. Same thing. That was very hot a couple of minutes ago, now it's raining. It's cooling down, it's a good thing. Okay, so if you change in the rear brake pads, you don't have to take the bottom bolt off. Plus this, um, this piece of bar here, like a, the rear control arm like, it's in the way here, so you, if you want you can use a box ring, but you don't have to just take off the top one and you tilt it back like this and you change your pads, take it off, put it in. And if you want to change your the rotor, take off these two bolts here, one here, one at the bottom. You can take you can take these two off and pull the whole bracket off without taking this off. Or this one you can slide it, slide it like this and take it off also like this. If you want to take it off, just slide it back. You don't got to break this bolt, the bottom bolt, lose just the top one. This is a slide and pin. You want to clean it up and put some grease on it. This works on the top here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to change the rear um, rotor also. That looks like a tab. There's two um, 19 mm bolts holding it, holding the bracket on. You gotta take the bracket off. One here and one here. Right here. Just take these two off. And then the whole bracket gonna come off with the caliper. The caliper you can just slide this bottom pin off like this, push it off and take it off. This is the bracket here. With a I take off the rotor, the rotor is going to be stuck on. Uh, you got to release the emergency brakes to get off the rotor and then tap it out. And just put on, clean up the new rotor, front and back and put it on there. Okay, so I release the uh, hand brakes, e brakes, and as you can see, the rotor is moving all up. Came off. The inside looks a little thin. So that's why I'm changing it. Okay, the new uh, rotor is back on. You just put it in. You want to clean it out with brakes cleaner. Surface here, front surface and the back surface. Put it on and then put back your, um, your bracket on. Okay, you want to make the bolts uh, nice and tight for the bracket. Just put in your new pads. She put anti seize and grease both sides, inner and outer. And compress back your piston lid. Okay, put back the brake pads and put back the caliper. And you want to put some anti seize or grease on the sliding guide bolt make it nice and tight. You don't want to kill it also. Hand tight. Nice and tight. That's it. And that's how you replace your brake pads for your rotor. This is the rear driver side and the other side is the same. And you just put back your tire, make the uh, lug nuts nice and tight and pump the brakes again before you start the car. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, click like, thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment, question, suggestion, and don't forget to subscribe. S subscribe. Thanks.